Hello, welcome back to this uh, mini-series on percentages and this is the final episode in this mini-series and today we're going to be looking at what's known as compound interest or compound inflation. So uh, these are topics that actually come up in the GCSE um, to uh, syllabus but they're also uh, very relevant to uh, real-world scenarios. So currently in the UK, inflation is about 10%, which means that compared to last year, the price of many goods has gone up by 10%. We also have, uh, if you put your money into a bank they, or a savings account, it pays uh, interest on that. So the value of your money goes up. So um, at the moment in the UK, um, some of the best interest rates you're going to get are around that 5% mark. The problem is, because inflation is going up, that actually means your value of your money is actually going to go down in uh, real-world terms. But um, this is, in this example, we're going to actually calculate what the difference is. And we're going to assume that we are looking over a three-year period. So let's say you put your money into a three-year fixed-rate bond or ISA. So every year you're going to get 5% extra to the value of money in that uh, savings account. And let's assume that inflation will stay at 10% for the next three years as well, um, which I have to admit is unlikely, but I'm not an economist, but let's, say, for example, say it is. So let's say you had £10,000. So if inflation uh, keeps going up uh, by 10%, how much money in three years, this £10,000, let's say it could buy a, um, a number of goods, let's say it could buy 10,000 Mars bars. If inflation keeps going up, every year the price of the Mars bars is going to increase by 10%. So in, uh, now you could buy 10,000 Mars bars, but with your ten, um, how much money would you need in three years' time to buy that same quantity of Mars bars. So every year it's going to go up by 10%. So this is year zero. After one year, we are going to have 10% um, more in the pot. So, uh, or you need 10% more. So it's going to go up by 1,000 pounds. So after one year, you're going to need £11,000 to buy your 10,000 Mars bars. After two years, what's going to happen is you're going to, it's going to go up by another 10%. So after two years, this, you're going to need £12,100 to buy your uh, 10,000 Mars bars. After three years, you're going to need another 10% um, more than this again. So we're going to be adding on to this another £1,210. So, 1, uh, so we're going to add on 13,200 is going to take that to £310. So after three years, you're going to need £13,310 to purchase your 10,000 Mars bars. Doing it this way, um, you can do it. It's a simple number if it's 10%, um, or if you've got a calculator, you can keep adding all these values up and finding the percentage change. However, it gets a little bit uh, tedious. So there is a formula for doing this, um, which is the quantity, so we'll call that, or the, your new value, which we'll call A, and this pen is running out again, See if the blue pen works. So A is equal to the principal sum, which is called P. Then we're 1 plus the percentage times the number of years. So in this case, A is equal to 10,000. Multiply by 1 plus 10%. So 
to the power 3, and that is equal to... So the key for this is when you, is uh, keeping your brackets sensible. So we've got the 10,000 multiplied in the bracket. So we've got 1 plus that uh, 0.1% to the power 3. And the calculator is given this as... Uh, 13,310, so we've got the same value. Now we can apply this exact formula to the interest rate. 10,000, 1 plus, uh, this time it's going to be 5 over 100 to the 3. So when I've worked this out, what this comes to is 1,150, 11,576 pounds and 25 pence, which you can see is significantly lower than the quantity, uh, the quantity that you need, or the amount of money you need to buy those 10,000 miles cars. So, if we find the difference between that, you've actually you would need to find from somewhere an extra one thousand seven hundred thirty-three pounds and seventy-five pence to purchase your ten thousand Mars bars. So this is the problem when you have high inflation and is higher than interest rates. It means that you're actually devaluing your own money. You are, have less value. You have less real-term money in the long term, and this is one of the reasons for the strikes um, and the nurses' pays because inflation has been going up. Pay hasn't been going up by any sort of close to the percentage, so you actually have, have less purchasing power. So if you think about it as being able to buy a good, say your Mars bar, how many Mars bars could you buy several years ago for your amount of money you have then, or you're getting paid then, compared to the amount of money, or the amount of Mars bars you can have now. So it's a very um, important thing to be able to understand this. If you're interested in where that uh, compound interest formula comes from, this is where it starts. So, if you had a uh, amount and it's going to increase by um, a percentage, you take your amount X and after a certain period, say a year, it's going to increase by 1 plus that percentage. After, so this has now become your amount after one year. So this is one year. After two years, you take this value and you multiply it by this. Amount. And as you can see, these two brackets are the same. So this is exactly the same as saying x to the percentage squared. After three years, you take this value and you get, you multiply by one plus the percentage, which is the same as x, and then in brackets, one plus the percentage uh, cubed. So as you can see, for every year you do, you increase, you take, you get your formula, which is your principal amount, which is your starting amount, which is x. You multiply it by one plus your percentage, and you raise that bracket to the number of years you have been through. There is a modification of this formula if you get paid multiple times per year, in which case you divide um, the percentage by the number of times per year you get paid it, and you multiply the power by that number. Anyway, I hope you found this, uh, this series useful. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I look forward to seeing you in another math series very soon.